All right, we've got all our exhausts installed. And now what we're going to do is take this head and roll it over so we can work on the intake guides. Normally it's just a quick little thing. Use our little bullseye magnet here. And we don't have to be terribly accurate with our setup here because all the accuracy is built into the machine. The work head and the quill are free to float and they then find the center line of the guide. So here we go. We already did the other head and I find it on this type of head where the valves are not in line I find it easier to do all the exhaust. We just switch out the head and then roll it over and do the intakes. So we are on the second head and the first set of intake valves. So once again we'll put our pilot in and everything on this machine is air float. So makes it easy to move into position and here we go we'll center up on our guide lock everything down and here we go actually I think we'll use a smaller pilot it might give us a little bit better result These are what's known as live pilots and they're made out of solid carbide. In most instances, other machines, they use dead pilots where they push them into the guide and the cutter revolves around it. These are actually live pilots, that's why they're made out of carbide so they don't wear and then we can center up and get our drill bit, our dreamer as it were.
All right, once again, we'll get rid of our chip. All guys, I like to brush the freshly machined hole out just to make sure there's no chips or dust. And then we get our guides, and we'll go ahead and put these in the same as the others. Again, a little bit of slickum. And here we go. All right, right where it should be. And three more the same way. These are a little more difficult to see the spirals in. Okay, nice and flush. One more, a little spot face, and go on to the next head. Spot facer, trim the guide to length, and we'll be on to the next head in no time. Same thing, break the corners, make sure there's no burr, no flange on there. We don't want to make a funnel for the oil to go down, but we don't want any burrs at the top either. Alright, 
onto the next head and then the next thing we're going to do is put in the hardened exhaust seats.